The phrase do not harm seems to be defining in the context of the restyling of the Mazda CX-5, as the introduced changes turned out to be insignificant both in design and in the mechanical part of the car. Today, we will figure out the reason for such conservatism from Mazda, as well as what durability to expect from this elegant beauty if you decide to buy it for a long term. This is The Long Last Channel, and let's take a ride. Mazda entered the crossover market only in 2012, which was relatively late at the time. Its goal was not to strive for leadership, because RAV4 and CRV already firmly held the segment in their hands. Nevertheless, the CX-5 crossover was received very positively and quickly achieved sales of 100,000 units per year. The vehicle rapidly gained popularity among car enthusiasts, making it clear that Mazda had produced a high quality product. Since its introduction, and up to the present day demand for the CX-5 has remained very stable, and there is a clear explanation for this. Understanding the engines of the Mazda CX-5 is quite easy, as there are only three main options. A 2.2 liter diesel and two gasoline with volumes of 2.0 and 2.5 liters. For residents of Europe and Asia, Mazda provides the full range of engines. However, for America, by 2024, the choice has narrowed down to one 2.5 liter engine, which is available in two versions, a regular naturally aspirated 2.5 and a turbocharged version of the same engine with a power output of up to 250 horsepower. The 2.2 liter diesel engine was offered in the American market, but couldn't effectively compete with the more affordable gasoline versions. Nevertheless, the new generation of Skyactiv-D engines underwent extensive improvements, addressing previous issues such as wear on camshaft lobes and crankshaft journals. Special attention was given to resolving the injector fastening problem. Previously, screws were tightened incorrectly, leading to injector damage, and the entry of soot from the cylinders into the oil. These issues caused rapid channel blockage, often necessitating the replacement of the entire engine. Thanks to significant modifications in the new generation of the engine, these problems have been successfully eliminated. Moving on to the examination of gasoline engines, and here Mazda deserves praise as the implemented advanced technologies have proven to be quite reliable in practice. The gasoline engines of the CX-5 are represented by two almost identical engines, differing only in displacement and the presence of balance shafts in the 2.5 liter version. Therefore, when we talk about the 2.5 liter engine, which is the only option in the US for the CX-5, we want future owners of the 2.0 liter versions to understand that everything said next also applies to their cars. What makes these Mazda engines special compared to others is first and foremost their high compression ratio, which can reach 14. This figure is closer to the values of diesel engines rather than gasoline engines, which typically have a compression ratio closer to 11. Mazda chose its own path diverging from the example of other companies. Instead of installing a turbocharger on its engine, company decided to focus on working with the compression ratio. The engineers of the Skyactiv engine extracted the maximum from it and any slight imbalance in this aspect can lead to fatal breakdowns. That's precisely why Mazda decided not to install a turbocharger on this engine, as the motor simply cannot withstand such stress. And yes, forget about the term chip tuning. Otherwise, you risk compromising the engine's durability. You might have a question. How is it that the CX-5's top configurations feature the same engine, but with a turbocharger? And you would be correct to raise this question. In essence, it is indeed the same engine, but with a significantly reduced compression ratio standing at 10.5. This allows for the successful implementation of turbocharging. Scoring in the cylinders is a problem faced by almost all modern engines, but typically it occurs in cars that have covered a significant distance. In the case of the CX-5, this is indeed a significant disappointment, because even in low mileage cars, small lines can be found when inspecting the engine cylinders with an endoscope. Imagine you've purchased a new car, and just after 12,000 miles, you decide to check the cylinder walls. To your surprise, you notice visible lines, and after researching online, you learn that scoring in the cylinders can be a precursor to serious and expensive problems, potentially requiring the replacement of the entire engine. How would you feel? most likely it would be a profound disappointment. This is not a fictional scenario, 
but a real case shared by the Project X channel, where the host conducted a cylinder inspection on his Mazda with only 12,000 miles revealing lines in the cylinders. The author of the channel claims to have used only the best gasoline with additives, adding even more pessimism to the situation because it suggests meticulous care for the engine. One might think it's an isolated case, but the reality is that on the internet, you'll hardly find a Mazda CX-5 with mileage where cylinder inspection wouldn't reveal scoring issues. Typically, scoring is insidious and can form in all cylinders of the engine. However, despite this serious problem, Mazda owners surprisingly have the highest satisfaction ratings with their cars. How is this possible? Let's delve into it. It's important to acknowledge that scoring is a specific oversight on Mazda's part, and such occurrences shouldn't happen. The example from the Project X channel demonstrates that even using high-octane fuel doesn't guarantee the absence of problems. So, what can we do? It might seem like we can't influence this issue. On the other hand, the situation is not as dire as it may appear, and there are ways for us to address it. Typically, even visible lines on the cylinder walls don't immediately lead to oil consumption, and the problem develops gradually. Many owners of Skyactiv engines who have surpassed the 100,000 mile mark have not yet experienced oil consumption, or if there is any, it's minimal. Thus, the presence of lines on the cylinders may exist, but is accompanied by almost negligible oil consumption. Your task as a CX-5 owner is to extend the process of scoring formation as much as possible, and this is quite achievable. Of course, hoping for a lifespan of 400,000 miles with such an issue would be overly optimistic, but with proper usage, you can expect around 250, 270,000 miles. The first recommendation is regular oil changes. The intervals of 5,000 or 7,500 miles recommended by the manufacturer are extremely long. While 0W20 oil can be a good choice in cold climates, especially for short trips from home to work, it might not be optimal if you live in a hot climate like Nevada and plan to use the car in the summer. Very liquid consistency can be beneficial in cold weather, but in heat, especially under heavy loads, the oil film may not form quickly enough on the cylinder walls. This can result in friction between the piston and cylinder wall without sufficient lubrication, leading to scoring formation. What should you do in this case? It's recommended to change the oil every 3,000 miles if you frequently drive in the city, and no less than every 4,500 miles if your trips are mostly on the highway. Don't hesitate to use high-quality 5W30 oil. Mazda recommends it for regions with severe operating conditions. If you live in hot areas or mountainous terrain where the engine is constantly under significant load, 5W30 oil can be an excellent choice. Don't be afraid to use this oil, as Mazda allows the use of 10W50 oil for Skyactiv engines in some countries. The choice of fuel also plays a crucial role. Forget about 87 octane gasoline as if it were a bad dream. With a high compression ratio of 14, using 87 octane gasoline can lead to serious engine problems. For this engine, it is recommended to use at least 89 octane gasoline, preferably 91 octane to avoid excessive engine detonation. Direct injection makes your engine more powerful, but certainly not more reliable. In the pursuit of power and eco-friendliness, automakers sacrifice durability. They understand that the most important thing is for the car to appeal to the first owner. And what happens to it after 60,000 miles beyond the warranty period is no longer their concern, but becomes the problem of whoever owns the car at that point. Achieving high power often requires sacrifices in terms of reliability. Considering that we assume the car will stay with us after the warranty period, it's important to take measures to address carbon deposits in the intake manifold, and of course, on the intake valves. But what is the danger of carbon deposits in the engine? When there's a small amount, it's not a threat, but when it's excessive, the entire engine may start to operate improperly. Power loss is a significant, but not the only drawback, because deposits on the intake valves lead to ignition misfires. The best way to address this issue is through regular mechanical cleaning of the intake manifold, intake valves, and injectors. Specialized services recommend performing this procedure every 40,000 miles for Skyactiv engines. There are also specific additives for fuel and foams that help eliminate carbon deposits. However, it's crucial to be very careful with them, as improperly chosen additives can harm the engine. In this case, it's better not to cut corners and seek assistance from a specialized center for carbon deposit cleaning.
In general, the engine has proven to be quite reliable. The original spark plugs can last up to 60,000 miles, which is an impressive figure. The timing chain also shows high reliability and usually does not cause problems, especially considering the powerful nature of the engine. Even after 200,000 miles, you can still find the original timing chain. Some owners have experienced issues such as a sudden loss of power, changes in engine sound, and the appearance of a check engine error during driving. In most cases, this was caused by a malfunctioning ignition coil, which needs to be replaced accordingly. Despite its design features, this engine is well engineered. Its fuel efficiency and power are exemplary in its class, and with proper maintenance, it is ready to cover many thousands of miles. The manual transmission did not become widespread. There were no systematic issues with it, but there were occasional cases of gear engagement problems. The cause was premature wear of gears and synchronizer clutches. The transmission is generally reliable, and synchronizer problems typically occur at higher mileage. The six-speed automatic transverse transmission, FW6AEL, was developed by Ison for Mazda vehicles in conjunction with the unique Skyactiv engines in 2010. The pilot version, FW6AEL, began to be used from 2011 in the local market in the Demio model with a 1.3-liter engine. After successful reliability results, it was implemented in serial production. Since 2012, the FW6A transmission has been installed in the Mazda CX-5. After successful operation with the 2.0-liter engine, it was also introduced in the Mazda 3 and Mazda 6 models with a full range of engines, including the 2.5-liter gasoline engine. The FW6A transmission is a structural upgrade of the Ison U 660E transmission. With careful operation and maintaining cleanliness and oil temperature, it can easily go 200,000 miles before the first major repair. Mandatory maintenance includes timely oil and filter replacement, layered filter with both felt and mesh membranes, part number 253010. The oil used is synthetic ATF FZ, identified by its blue color. For a complete replacement, approximately 8 liters will be required. For the FW6A transmission, it is recommended to perform a partial oil change, requiring approximately 5 liters per replacement. According to expert experience, it is advisable to change the oil in this transmission after reaching 60,000 and then repeat the procedure every 40,000 miles. It is crucial to regularly check the oil clarity at each service, especially with an active driving style as the oil may age faster. Oil level inspection is carried out using a dipstick accessible from below. Oil filling is done through the same hole during partial replacement. Every second partial oil change should involve a complete replacement with the removal of the pen and inspection of the magnets for the presence of shavings or metallic particles, which could indicate issues with the central bearing or the high clutch engagement. Planned major repairs with disassembly and cleaning should be considered after reaching a mileage of 180,000 miles to prevent wear on bearings the hydraulic block and bushings. The suspension remains unchanged and is generally durable. In the second generation, an issue could arise around 60,000 miles with the all-wheel drive clutch bearing due to an unsuccessful bearing design that causes the oil inside it to dry out quickly, resulting in unpleasant noise. It's necessary to replace the oil in the differentials every 40,000 miles, and the recommended oil viscosity index should be 75W90. After 75,000 miles, you may need to replace the sway bar link. For the front control arms, you can separately purchase bushings and ball joints, significantly reducing the repair cost. The strut mounts are quite durable and typically require replacement after around 120,000 miles. In the rear suspension bushings can be replaced separately from the control arm and are not too expensive. Front hub bearings are usually replaced around 130,000 miles, while the rear ones are generally more durable and last several tens of thousands of miles longer. Do not trust the CX-5 all-wheel drive system. Often, when struggling to achieve traction for an extended period, the system enters emergency mode, disengaging the rear wheels to prevent the clutch from overheating. In snowy conditions, it's advisable to avoid letting the wheels spin freely at idle, and instead apply more gas to maintain RPMs above 1800.
This is crucial because low RPMs may trigger the system and result in the all-wheel drive system being disabled. This is related to the peculiarities of the electrical system in this particular car. The front windshield of the second generation is extremely soft, and cracks may appear when hit by stones. If your car's warranty is coming to an end, it's time to consider the future operation. An optimal solution would be to apply a protective film to it, because the original windshield is very expensive. The paint coating is thin, but white chips do not lead to rust. It is also recommended to apply a protective film to the front part of the car. The lower part of the car is prone to corrosion and five years is enough for rust to form. Therefore, a high quality anti-corrosion treatment will not be superfluous. The overall reliability of the Mazda CX-5 is above average. While rare issues may occur, fatal breakdowns usually result from poor maintenance and a lack of understanding of the basic principles of direct injection engine service. 